Department of Oregon could be helping pave the way for Nestle to buy and bottle spring water from Cascade Locks. Well, and that despite a vote in Hood River County that stopped this project in the spring. We wanted to know more, so we sent our Jennifer Dowling to find out. The details lie in this water transfer application. Now that the state has this complete, Cascade Locks says this was the first step. Now the city itself can start fighting for a water swap agreement. This was the scene last spring as those who opposed the Nestle bottling plant took to the streets, getting a law approved to block big bottlers from operating in Hood River County. Still, the administrator with the city of Cascade Locks is hopeful approval of this water transfer application for Oregon's Department of Fish and Wildlife will eventually lead to that end. First step in a long journey for us to, to eventually get the uh, water bottling plant uh, into our city. This application had nothing to do with bottlers directly. It allows the state's Oxbow Springs hatchery to add two points of diversion for its water rights. But a portion could eventually be heading to the city of Cascade Locks if a water exchange agreement is approved. They would own it, yeah, it would be theirs. They could, they could do whatever they wanted. The city would get that much desired Oxbow spring water and it would send the state's hatchery some well water to raise their fish in. So why swap well water out for the spring water? for the salmon. Why risk it? Why give that water to Cascade Locks? Because we'd get uh, um, water in return for that. Rick Swartz, spokesperson for the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, says a health study has already been completed on the fish in the well water. Does this make the state pro-Nestle? No. It doesn't make us anti-Nestle either. We are uh, we're neutral on this. We've, we've done our very, very best to remain neutral throughout and to be objective analysts of what this really means. So our discussions are with the city of Cascade Locks. Still, Nestle says they are very pleased with the news. A spokesperson says, while Nestle Waters North America is not an applicant in this regulatory process, we have been following the process closely and we fully support the ODFW in ultimately pursuing the water exchange with the city of Cascade Locks. When that's done, if Nestle is still interested or if any other bottler is interested, then we can work out a contract between the city and whoever the bottler is to sell them the water to be bottled. Zimmerman says the city will eventually have to also legally go after that county vote that prohibits big bottlers from coming into the county. Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.